Jack and Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome back to The Banishing of Ethan Carter. Whoo! In the last episode, we figured out that Ethan's father killed himself to try to stop the sleeper from getting fat on their hate and disgust or and or other things. Um, and we are still trying to figure out where Travis and Ethan are. They're the last family members left. So, I think the question is, where do we go from here? I don't know. I don't think we can go up. Was I not done with this building yet? That seems reasonable. I didn't really take too, too long to look in here. Um. Oh. Creepy. This whole game's creepy. Creeped out. Nice. I like how they allow you to walk up here. <laughs> that works. It's not what we're supposed to be doing, but, but, you know. Gosh. What are we supposed to be doing? What are we even doing here? How long ago did this take place? I don't know. I mean, because Ethan was reading stuff from like the 1960s. Is there like an obvious place that I totally just missed that we're supposed to go? Can I? Nope, it's not gonna let me do that. Are we supposed to go in the water? Okay, not really. Okay, found it. That was tricky. So that's gonna stop the water. Right? Just close this off, right? Yeah. So now what? Nope, still can't go that far. Wait, how did that help us? I don't understand how that helped. Shoot, what am I missing? Oh! I didn't realize I could go back through. Okay! <laughs> so there's probably some cuts there. Um, we... figured out... Oh, here we go. We lowered the water so that we could cross here and get to the other side. Because, you know, we have to make it as convoluted as possible, right? Mmm. That actually looks like it would be refreshing to do. Okay, so now we're on the other side here. Oh. Music's starting back up again. That's how you know you're going in the right direction. Uh Oh man. What happened? Okay, just follow the path. Look. Uh, such a lovely stroll by <laughs> by the stream. Just follow the path. What happened to Ethan? Ooh, 
that's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. It actually does kind of remind me of uh, the vines that I went to a couple weeks ago. They were up in the mountains. And everything was just beautiful and green. Ugh. Oh, so beautiful. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit on the edge. This game is... Whew. Wow. Ethan, I am impressed that you made it all the way out here. Like, all the shenanigans we had to do in order to... Just even find this place. Oh. This happened recently. Is there a... Oh, I mean, duh. I guess we could go in through the front door. Any clues? Anything? Oh, for a second I thought that was supposed to be a note. I'm like, well, geez, it's just floating there. Nope. Perspective. Imagine that. Good job, Ethan. You burned stuff down. You're the perfect little arson. Hey, I wonder if you ever played Little Inferno. Is there... Okay, really, there's nothing for us to look at here. Okay. Yikes. Are we gonna have to destroy Ta Travis just to save Ethan? What's going on? Where are you, Ethan? Ethan! Come back, buddy! So, I mean, if we could feel, feel the darkness, then that means that whatever Ethan did didn't actually work. Oh. Nope. Just heard a low note. Don't want to hear it. Oh, I thought that was going to be a little cave for us to go into. It not. What are we doing, then? Nope. Oh. I knew it! Drat. Okay, we found something in the house. I totally just skipped over it before. Um. So. S. Oh man. Do I even know what I'm supposed to be sell? Is that just wind? I'm supposed to spell here. I don't know where the start is. Oh, that's gonna be the start because it's got the thing coming out of it. Hmm. C A maybe. No. I'm assuming. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> There's like a hit. Corvus. Maybe. That's wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, alright, let's try Corvus. See? 
Is there an R, V, B? Oh, there we go! Corvus, Corvus! And the clue is right here. I don't know how. Jeez. I don't know, if that was your house, if you're looking to hide something, why would you put the password right on, like, a carpet? That seems really silly. What door got open? Oh! Okay. Oh. See? This is why Ethan burned down your place, Corvus. Oh, gosh. These are just walls, right? Oh, creepy. Creepy! What kind of decoration is this? Creepy! Oh. Please don't come to life. Yeah. It's kind of an interesting position. Is this his grandpa? How does grandpa catch up to him? Okay, so here's one. Um, two. Where's the? Th I want to tag this one. That was probably four. Does it go up to five? No, there's only four. Okay. How can I... Game? There we go. Alright, let's visualize. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! Oh. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergrift kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. Why? Can squeeze through. Wow, that's plenty of space for you to squeeze through. Grandpa, no! Gail, it has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Follow the blue light! And that somehow opens up the room for us. Hey look, it's Ethan! No, don't wake him up! Oh my goodness. Oh, we'll have to do that in the next episode, Jack and Jills. Oh, I don't know how this is going to end. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Yeah, Ethan Carter. If you did enjoy this episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and oh, it's creepy. <laughs> and don't forget.
forget to check out all the other stuff that we're doing on this channel. I will see you guys in the next one.